Hello everyone, I'm just uh, getting, um, making some, um, I'm going to make some tortilla chips out of uh, some corn tortillas that I had here. Yeah, I just, I cut, I cut it in half and then you cut your triangles out of it to whatever size that, you, that you'd like. So just like that. Your chip size triangles. Big, small, whatever you'd like. And then, after they're done, you're going to just drop them in the deep fryer and fry them up. Okay, this is the deep fryer. I'm going to show you how I do the, make the corn chips. Just grab a handful, about so much, and they're all together in there you can see they're just stuck together you just when you put them in you're going to use your tongs and you're going to separate them you just swish them around and they begin to crisp you just let them go till they're golden brown just make sure that they're all separated And you can use your tongs to stir them around just to make sure that they get evenly brown. They don't take very long, but I do like them to get a nice uh, brown color to them. It's always good to have homemade corn chips for your salsa, for guacamole, whatever you're, you're going to have. Okay, and then when your chips are, it'll stop uh, bubbling and foaming so much when they're, when they're about ready because most of the moisture is cooked out of them. You just make sure that you drain them really well, give them a shake. You can let them sit there on the hook and let them drain naturally. But they're always best if you can drain as much as you can off of them. Then dump into your bowl. When you dump them into your bowl, that is always the, let me turn the camera here. That is always the best time to, to salt them when they're hot so that the, the salt will, will stick to them. So I just shake them up a little bit, add a little bit more salt. You could use seasoned salt, any kind of salt you like, chili powder. I just used uh, regular, uh, regular salt. And then after you get them mixed up, I just pour them into the bowl. So I've made all these chips for some salsa. Also, we're going to be having soft uh, tacos for dinner. So I'm going to prepare the, the corn tortillas. You just get your corn tortilla. And I usually just use the deep fryer since it's, well, since it's on already. You can just use a pan with a little bit of oil in it. You just uh, lightly dip it into your hot oil. Let it drain a little bit. And add it into your, onto uh, some paper towels so it can finish draining. And that's really it, just so that your tortillas will be nice and pliable, so that they won't break whenever you're going to fill them with your taco filling. And then uh, if you wanted them to be hard tacos, after you fill them with your filling, you can pan fry them in a little bit of oil in a pan until they're crispy. But like I said, we're going to have soft tacos today. So I'm just going to leave the tortillas just as is. We're going to stuff them with taco fillings and that's it. Okay, right here I'm making some salsa. I got a can of diced, uh, petite diced tomatoes in there. And I've put about eight or so of these jalapenos in there. All I did was just get the jalapeno and I pull the stem off and then drop it in. And uh, the vinegar and the jalapenos will give it a good flavor too. Also, I'm going to uh, roughly chop up into chunks um, a white onion 
You can use any kind of onion. And what I've done is I've just cut it into bigger chunks. And I'm going to drop that in. Also, I'm going to put some fresh garlic. I've got some fresh garlic cloves here. Probably going to put a couple of couple of cloves. Let me find out. So we've got one. It's already peeled. I'm going to drop that in. And we'll do like maybe one more. So two cloves of garlic. And then you can add, adjust your salt when it gets uh, when it gets to it. You just uh, turn it off, and I usually just pulse and then run it a little bit, just just so that it can uh, chop up your onion and your um, garlic. Then you can adjust salt. You can add pepper. You can add some people add cumin. Just depends on what you'd like in it. So that's what it looks like. Some homemade salsa for our tacos. Over here at the stove, I've got a little bit of ground beef that I've started, uh, that I've browned. I've got about maybe about a pound and a half or so. And what I'm going to do is I usually like to make my ground, my ground, my tacos with ground beef, and then I also like to add um, potato to it. My mom always added potato to it. So over here, you can use fresh, uh, fresh potato like raw potato, and it'll just take longer to cook move my onion over and but what I've done is I've had some baked potatoes that I that I baked and I just peeled and all you're gonna do is just cut them into little cubes then you add them to the ground beef because it's already browned these are basically already cooked and what you're gonna do is add a little bit of water to them so that they everything can soften up you can add your spices that you'd like some uh, you can even add just taco seasoning to the meat if you'd like or so, sometimes I just add salt and pepper um, Onion powder. There's garlic powder. You can add you can also add fresh garlic or fresh onion to it. It don't matter so I've Got one potato cut up see it's really quick and easy and If you like I said if you use raw potatoes, it'll just take longer for the potato to soften in there um, my mom did this as a way of stretching the ground beef because there was uh, so many of us to feed. So it was a way of uh, spreading the meal out to uh, feed more people. So then you just cut it like this and then add it to your ground beef. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so we've got our ground beef here. It's already done. We're going to pop the potatoes in there. So the potatoes, these are nice uh, cutting mats because you can transport things easy. Just knock them in there. Break up the little cubes because you've got several, you've got little tiny cubes in there. Don't forget, you cut them up into little pieces. And then uh, this will soften and it'll also thicken up so that when you go to um, spoon it, it's going to hold together well. I usually will just add um, a little bit of salt, just a salt, little bit of salt for flavor. And you can adjust your flavors, your uh, seasonings later. Um, black pepper. I like black pepper in them, so I'll add some black pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, granulated garlic. I have fresh, but this just makes it easy. And then also we've got onion, granulated onion. Be careful with this because these have big holes. It will come out. So I just like to use a little bit just for flavor. Once you've got all your seasonings in there, I usually add just a little bit of water, like I said. Uh, that's about, oops, I lost a potato. <laughs> and that's about a about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this. We're gonna bring it to a simmer, cover it, and then let it simmer for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like at that point. Okay, this is, uh, I made some, some Spanish rice 
And I've got some refried beans here. They're still bubbling. I uh, I made these fresh. Uh, I made them in the, the pinto beans in the pressure cooker and then I ran them through the food processor so that they'd be nice and smooth. I wanted them to be smooth and creamy. So those are done. This is what the, the taco meat ended up looking like. Still a little hot, let me bring you closer. So you can see the bits of the potato in there. Okay, and I will show you. Okay, so I've got my, and I'm just using paper plates, uh, well, no, styrofoam plates. Make it easy, no dishes. Well, not as many dishes anyway. So your corn tortillas that I softened up, see they're, they're nice and pliable. And then you just get a little bit of your taco meat. Taco filling. Set that like that. Um, all I'm having on these, oh and then also before I go from here, I'm just gonna get a little bit of rice. A little bit of beans on the side. So this will be my side bowl of rice and beans. Turn you this way, and all I'm doing on this is I'm going to just add some shredded cheese. This is pre shredded cheese, make it easy. A few diced uh, fresh tomatoes, and then remember, I made the chips earlier, so I've got the homemade chips. This is my salsa, how my salsa turned out. So you just add salsa to it. Um, you could add sour cream, you could add guacamole, whatever you'd like to it. But that's basically it.